Hi, I'm Maverick and welcome to my new build video, the Hornet Mark III. Now the first thing you're going to notice as we come here inside of the base is that we've now changed the windows in the top of the drop downs for the garage doors. Uh, we've also put in a ladder hatch to keep the rate cost up, but this allows us easier access in and out of the loot rooms and also to place auto turrets on shelves. And as you see there, we're on face punch too, so this base has been well tested on a very busy server. Now if I take you down into the loot rooms, I can show you the two different types of loot room. This is a very cheap one, requires no gears or high quality. And uh, if I take you down into the next loot room, I can show you the other option, which is uh, to use vending machines. We come up here onto the next level and this is where we keep our beds in the main area in the centre here. Uh, this allows for a fast spawn with beds and also this area will stay intact throughout the whole raid. Even if the base is hollowed out at the very centre, which I'll show you later on, uh, this stays intact so you still have a safe spawn. Uh, of course, uh, we go up a level here and it takes us up to our shooting floor. As you can see, we've got our battery stored in here, electrics access to the roof with my favorite shotgun trap arrangement and uh, secret storage uh, it's always handy to keep some bits and pieces up in these lockers nobody ever seems to raid them And of course we come up here to the very top level and we have to have ourselves a heli port so here's our uh, heli storage and uh, of course the shooting floor up here. Now this base is all triangles so you just want to uh, make yourself a hexagon two sides on the edge of each hexagon here, put your walls up, simple as this, and then your dividers. We're now going to be using an internal airlock rather than an external airlock as before with the external it compromised the integrity of two of the loot rooms.
Okay, the next stage is to do our external TCs. And the way we're going to do this is to twig out 10 foundation squares from the outside edge of our uh, tower. Uh, we're going to remove all the squares except for the one we're stood on. And we're going to triangle back with our uh, foundations. And we're going to place a square on the end here. Once you've done that, you can make these metal and we're going to go out five foundation squares and finish off at the end with triangles. And now we repeat that process on the other two sides of the base that require a TC. Now this is another simple and effective design, uh, this is 12 rockets. Now I've seen YouTubers and other bases that have used this uh, low wall as a splash guard but look what happens if we stand on this bit here and we fire rockets and splash all sections at once. So that's only 10 rockets, which is two less than the external TC. And there we go, that's 18 rockets. So it might be a little bit cheaper to put in a low wall, but it's false economy. And now we move on to our roof sections, and I'd like to explain why I use these. Uh, two main reasons. One, they're cheaper than traditional honeycombing, uh, a lot less on the upkeep and, and cost. And secondly, when you're using a multi-TC base like this, you always end up with slots or gaps in the base, which is an absolute nightmare with a base this size. Uh, 
And before we lay our final piece, what we want to do is go inside here and put down our baffles. These will stop people from uh, crawling through this area here and get into the back of each loop room for only eight rockets after breaching through the slope roof section. Now you should never really end on a corner here like this, you should always try and end on a flat but if you do end up in this situation it is possible with a little bit of wriggling around to actually get this piece in. And as you can see these external TC roof sections uh, leave no gaps in the base, no slots, you can't splash through any of that or fire a rocket through it. It finishes it off very nicely. So you might be wondering why I'm making these ladder hatch sections metal and that's because when they're left stone they're a lot thicker and do hinder you getting in and out of the loot room so make them metal and save yourselves a lot of trouble. It's worth pointing out that the uh, runaround that I'm walking on here eventually will be armoured because uh, at the moment it's only 8 rockets to go down through the top of this loop room whereas once this is armoured this is no longer a shortcut and the cheaper way would be to go through the garage doors and down through the ladder hatch and then through the two glass windows which works out 12 rockets.
Now, of course, there's many different ways to set up your electrics, but this is the way that suits me. I find it's the easiest. So I start off by putting down my battery, then three splitters. And then I'll put down a switch and I'll wire straight to the switch from the battery, which uh, means that I can shut down all of my turrets for people to authorize on, change guns or ammo. So then we go from the power out on the switch to the very top splitter. That splitter, then we'll then go down link to individual splitters. There, now there's an equal amount of power coming out of all six of those outlets at the very bottom, and I find six auto turrets to one battery and one windmill is a perfect setup. And here's a nice little trick if you uh, don't like windmills because it makes it difficult for you to land on your roof or you just don't have the BPs. You can actually stack your solar panels like this and they don't shade each other, they all still get full power. Okay, we're going to start the raid part of the video now and it's my opinion and the opinion of others that this is probably the best way to raid this base. If you go from top down you're going to start having all sorts of problems with uh, auto turrets and shotgun traps.
And there we have it, that's the final loot room, that's 75 rockets. And it's still going to cost a further 36 to grief this base. We've still got two loot rooms upstairs on the shooting floor, which is intact, and also the bed floor. Uh, thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and it's till next time, goodbye.